another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe if there's something that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to react to it and a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed we're very very grateful i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this they suggested i react to this but it's a part two so i don't understand but anyway so we're reacting to this i don't know what the title is in english so without wasting time let's get into the video all praise is due to allah we praise him we seek his help and we ask for his forgiveness we take refuge with allah from the evil of ourselves and from the evil consequence of our evil actions Whomsoever Allah guides, there is none to misguide. And whomsoever Allah leaves to go astray, there is none to guide. And today, over the next series of programs, we are going to be doing our best to prove to you that that is the case, that indeed there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah, and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah. And today, we are going to be talking about the preservation of the Quran now why are we going to be talking about the preservation of the Quran why is that important and what has that got to do with proving that Islam is the truth well I think from one angle it's a very important issue because if we are going to say that one of the evidences that we're going to put forward to show that Islam is indeed from Allah, the creator of the heavens and the earth, is the Qur'an. And the things that the Qur'an says are a type of, or constitute type of evidence, then a person may quite rightly ask, well, how do we know the Qur'an is authentic? And to be perfectly honest, this is one of the issues that Muslims themselves bring up with, for example, the Bible, or the Vedas, or the teachings of Buddha, or anyone else. One of the issues that we have is that, okay, well, you claim these things are from this teacher, or are from God, or whatever, but prove it. How can we be sure that your scriptures are authentic? They, maybe they have been corrupted. Maybe they have been distorted. Maybe there is some truth there and some falsehood there. So what we would like to do today is to do our best to show that the Qur'an is indeed a book that has been preserved from corruption and from distortion. So this is really a very, very important issue from one angle, because then when a person hears that something is from the Qur'an, or indeed for that matter, that something is from the Prophet Muhammad, and it has been authenticated as being from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, then you can be sure that this is something authentic, this is something verified, this is something that, not ha that has not been changed and corrupted over time. So this gives us a lot of confidence that what we're mentioning from the Qur'an is indeed something that is true, and something that is correct. So um, that is what we're going to be dealing with. But inshallah, before we do that, we would just like to recap on something very important that we mentioned in a previous series of programs. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, my dear brothers and sisters, one of the strongest proofs and evidences that Islam is from Allah is what the Qur'an teaches about Allah. Now we have already mentioned this and we've been through this in another series of programs, but I want to go through it again, very briefly, without repeating everything. You see, the Qur'an has a very beautiful teaching about God. And in fact, if this was the only thing that the Qur'an was teaching, the oneness of God, the uniqueness of God, the transcendence of Allah, 
if this was the only thing the Quran was teaching really for a person who is very logical and rational and who is really in touch with their nature and their inner selves then for them that probably would be enough of a proof and evidence that the Quran is from God because what we find is that nearly every religion in some way or another way distorts the belief in the oneness of God in some way or another for example Christianity teaches that there is one God that there is one creator who has brought this whole universe into existence in one way or another this idea is corrupted by the idea or the concept that for example as Christianity teaches that God has become man and that somehow Jesus is both human and God so this is really a corruption and a distortion of the pure teachings of monotheism because in reality what we find is that this is a type of impossibility how can something be completely human and completely divine at the same time because the qualities of true divinity and the qualities of true humanity are incompatible God is eternal whereas human beings are finite God is self-sufficient whereas human beings are needy how can something be eternal and be finite at the same time how can something be self-sufficient and needy at the same time you see this is the problem so any religion that teaches that God is a man or that God is like some created thing really how can we accept that to be true because when it's talking about God it is already upon a type of corruption and a distortion and a falsehood whereas Islam is free from this type of thing the things that Islam teaches about God are really very rational and very reasonable and this is one of the strongest reasons for believing that the Quran is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so what we want to emphasize upon today my dear brothers and sisters may Allah have mercy upon you may Allah guide us all of us closer to the truth is the issue of the preservation of the Quran now one of the things that I want to touch upon is the historical evidence of the preservation of the Quran but another thing I want to introduce is why this is itself a type of miraculous concept why it is really a type of amazing thing why the preservation of the Quran itself is one of the proofs or one of the evidences rather it's more accurate to say one of the evidences because proof is one evidences are many one of the evidences that the Quran is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator of the heavens and the earth so let's go into a little bit about the historical preservation of the Quran now according to traditional Muslim sources according to the teachings of the hadith the teachings of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and those people who came after him the Sahaba and the Tabi'een um, the way that the Quran was preserved at least in terms of writing because there are two ways that the Quran has been preserved it has been preserved partially through writing now mostly in Western culture for example a lot of emphasis and a lot of importance is given to the preservation in writing whereas in fact it is not necessarily true that something has been written down in a scriptural form and that we have something written down in a scriptural way is necessarily the most authentic a very interesting uh, video when it comes to talking about the preservation of the Quran I mean you just have to admire the way the work has been preserved thus far it's doing its original um, language despite it being translated in English um, we don't have there's not different versions of it and those are just a few characteristics you can name no one is writing different versions of everything to com of anything to confuse 
anyone that's something that speaks for itself i've always said i've always admired those characteristics and other religions should have done the same thing as well why are you going to preach one god but then say another thing in the book it confuses people that's why a certain group is going to believe there's only one god but a certain another group is going to believe but then like he said jesus became god when he was born it's really confusing and that just that may um shake the message that's actually trying to be put across otherwise when it comes to some of the stuff in the quran i mean people agree to disagree these things that i say yes i understand this yes i can relate to this yes i will apply this and others will disagree with certain parts of the parts of it otherwise I always encourage people to learn 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 whether you believe or not look into different religions and see what they say hopefully when you sit down after doing all that you're going to choose the one that speaks to you and one that speaks um one that relates that one that relates to your beliefs otherwise this was interesting and is there like about three to this to the person that suggested this or is it is this the only thing that you wanted me to react to also if there's any comments feel free to leave them leave whatever you have to say down in the comment section below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video